Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. Apologize if I'm a bit tired. Uh, I just got off a 10 hour stream uh, and I want to go ahead and show you guys some updates with the Vortex character that is not Vortex anymore. It is now um, cast on crit with Frostbolt linked with Frostbolt. So we're still using the skin of the loyal and the whole evasion setup and stuff. I'm not using Grace right now, but I'm still at 4k evasion. Um, and I want to just run you guys with a simple rundown of what I currently have. And there's a bunch of shit to be adjusted, but if you want to follow along, you can. I spent about 120 regrets on this character, and the better part of, like, 10 exalt just changing and testing a bunch of gear out. Um, but I want to show you guys a little bit of what it's like, and it is so far from being optimized. But I want to go ahead and just show you guys what it currently is like. So, let me just, I don't want to do anything crazy, I'm scared. All right, here, look. Simple blue map, two rogue exiles. It's a T10 map. We're level 79. We're using the uh, Frozen Trails currently for our Frostbolt. We're using Shield Charge, Frostbolt, Empower, Cast on Crit, Increase Critical Strike Chance, Cold Pen. Um, ideally, I would like to use three greens. So I would drop uh, Shield Charge and use Light... Uh, sorry. I drop Shield Charge and use Cyclone instead. Um, that's the ideal goal. And then um, my one jewel, I guess two jewels here, I have crit multi, ES, and just this is kind of a shit jewel to be honest, that needs to be replaced. And yeah, the tree pretty much looks the same as well for the most part. Um, of course, you have to go Vault Pact and Ghost Reaver with this setup. But let me just show you guys a little bit of how it plays. Now, a lot of the things are still clunky, I'm still working it out, but I wanted to give you guys a progress video before it just comes out with the full thing, because this is probably an issue a lot of you guys are going to run into. So, here we go. Now, the reasoning for using a cost freeze is cost freeze works with our regular, um, our regular six link. So, I'm actually using a six link cast on crit. And then I'm also using cost freeze, which will stack with it. And you can tell it stacks because, oopsies, what the hell's going on here? There you go, I have different MTXs on. So you can see there's regular white ones, and then there's the black ones. The black ones come from the cost freeze, and the regular ones come from just the regular ones, I guess you could say. Now these are also not level 20 gems. Um, this is a uh, level 17 and a level 18 frost bolt. Now granted one of them is in a six link of course But the base gem itself can still go up quite a few more levels. Who is this? Oh You know why I got fucked? I changed my keybinds up. That's why well. Now we're also using vol lightning trap and the um, What is it called frost bomb just for some additional single target on rares and stuff because our single target damage isn't too good, it's okay, it's mediocre, but I feel it will get a lot stronger once I switch from Shield Charge to actual Cyclone. Here's where the build's gonna look really terrible, it's just like really shit, simple, crappy single target. Which will still be improved in the in the upcoming stuff, you know? Like that's not something I'm too worried about. Okay. So now let's talk a little bit about the build, and then I'm gonna show you guys how it works with Freeze Pulse later, like in a couple minutes. So Cosprey's Malice, if you want really good single target, I'd highly recommend using a Cosprey's Malice. If you want to go more for just simple AoE clear, go with a Vagan Crafted Dagger. Um, don't ask me for crafting advice, I kind of do my own things. People said this is a shit dagger, I think it worked out just fine. Um, the reason for a Vagan Crafted Dagger is you can roll hits cannot be evaded, and then you don't have to worry about accuracy. If you have enough accuracy, Cospreys gives you an extra setup that you can use supported gems in, which is just overall more damage. Vagan Dagger is just more consistent. 
Um, your gloves, you wanna make sure you've got an accuracy roll here. Ideally, an accuracy roll on maybe one or if even two rings slash your helmet option. Again, we're using the same skin of the loyal that we used you know, for leveling up. Um, I'm using an Ascent from Flesh, the exact same thing there. I'm using Sintrex. Ideally, I would probably replace them with Brian Rot Whalers or maybe something else, but these roll up to 40% proj damage. That's pretty fucking good. Um, so 40% proj damage with 200 ES, that's pretty sick. I also, I think I need to roll Leech on Boots or else I'm going to die to Reflect because I want to replace the Life Leech out of my... Well, I'm not using a Life Leech now, but if I were to use Cyclone, then I would replace Shield Charge with Life Leech, and it just doesn't feel really super consistent at all times. Um, I've got a 500 ES Shield that's actually my Righteous Fire character's shield, and then I'm using a Grace Reservation Crafted Helmet, which you actually don't need to use. This was my other characters, because you have the reservation to get, like, Reservation here. Charisma is literally right over here, or you could go over to Sovereignty right now. I don't know exactly where I'm going with the build, so I'm still trying to figure that part out here. I may actually have to come over and grab, like, fucking this shitty Reflect node, but we'll see exactly what's going on. I might just go towards Path of the Savant. Now, I want to show you guys what this looked like with my other setup, because I was using... Um, I was using first snows for a little bit and I was testing out between freeze pulse So I just want to run you guys like a little dried lake simulator of what it looks like with freeze pulse instead of frost bolt So all we're gonna do is just pop in freeze pulse here, and I should have another Freeze pulse here we go So this is 17 18 frost bolt goes to a 2019 freeze pulse and for this scenario, I'm actually going to use Cyclone. Well, actually, I'll, I'll stick with the Shield Charge setup now, and then I'll do another setup, like a run-through with uh, Shield Charge to show you, or sorry, with Cyclone to show you what it looks like. Shield Charge honestly is fine, too, and you can even get more projectile speed. I just, I felt like Frostbolt just worked better for map clearing and whatnot. So you see this inconsistent hit where it doesn't cast the spell? That's where basically the Vagan Dagger would guarantee that that would not happen. Whereas with Cost Breeze, that basically means like, hey dude, your gear is shit. You gotta get some better gear. Now one might ask yourself, well Box, why are you doing this when you could just go self-cast? And my answer to you is, fuck you, I do what I want. This is definitely not one of the most optimized cast on crit builds. It's just my first cast on crit build. And, you know, I always try to do things a little off meta, and it's fun, I like it. That's all that matters to me, is that I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying myself. So we'll wait for this dude to charge. Is he gonna charge? He's not gonna charge, so I'm just gonna do this. All right, that's enough with shield charge. I want to show you guys what cyclone kind of looks like. So now one thing to note is we are going to lose a multiplier. So I'm going to loop. Well, I'm losing cold penetration and I'm going to run this on basically a five link. It's weird. I don't know. It's like, it's definitely better for single target to an extent because I don't have the attack speed to like make my cost freeze work to the fullest potential. But it's strange. I don't know yet. I still don't know how I feel. Ideally, I'd like to craft like, I think they're called, are they insanity gloves? The ones that give like the crazy attack speed multiplier. And I'd have like shield charge in there so I could shield charge from pack to pack. And then I would use, um, I would use Freeze Pulse, or sorry, I would use Cyclone for, like, actual, like, cast on crit. And that way I can still proc Fortify relatively easily. Single target is even better, right? That was without Cold Pen, so that was on a 5 link rather than a 6 link. And that's because by doing, by using Cyclone, the hit interval is so much quicker uh, that we're able to really make use of Cosprey's. Cosprey's Malice being the actual weapon that we're using. Now, the issue with Vortex is Vortex was unfortunately just way too slow. And by scaling a build like this, 
there's just so much more potential to be uh, to, to acquire. Like you could use a dying sun and get two additional projectiles. That would be pretty absurd, right? Um, that would add five. Well, yeah, you would shoot. No, you would shoot seven projectiles. That's pretty fucking ridiculous. Uh, so there's a bunch of really cool stuff here and there that I really want to mess around with. Um, I guess the only important thing if you wanted to get this character started is... I don't really know, I guess. Try to look at my gear, really try to copy part of what you're doing, because I'm not really used to these cast on crypt builds, so I don't know 100% of what you need. But I mean, Cosprey's Malice was only one exalt in hardcore, so that's, that's really nothing, right? This was like one exalt, and this was like three exalt, and that's the most expensive pieces. So, I guess realistically, because I could take off my shield, I'm still 8k ES. You can clear Dried Lake with 8k. So, ideally, you could get this build going for like 150 chaos, like easy peasy, 150-200c. Um, Wise Oak doesn't really cost anything, and that's crazy good penetration from that as well. And the nodes are pretty simple. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the only thing I would say for my dual curse that I'm running right now is like, I've got Warlord's Mark on cast when damage taken. So that when a reflect mob, basically when I hurt myself to reflect, it applies warlords. But I also have warlords on curse on hit with herald of ice, and you'll notice I have endurance charges at almost all times. And the reason for that is because um, is because of the warlords mark from the shatter effect. So the last thing I want to do is show you guys what it looks like uh, without a cost freeze. So this is just going to be um, one set. Does that make sense? It's not going to be two sets of like freeze pulse or anything. So for this, we do not need Cyclone at all because we can hit the cap just fine in terms of like how fast we can attack and cast. So let me set this back up. Oopsies. And this is going to be a shield charge. And you'll notice pretty much every time I hit, it'll shoot out a freeze pulse. That's the consistency of a Vagan Dagger. The downside of, the, of this, though, is you can only proc it so fast. So if I put my Freeze Pulse here, you can see how, like, you can see basically the cooldown on the cast on crit. Cost Freeze, I believe, is what, half of that cooldown? I don't know the exact, does it say it on the weapon? I don't know if it says it exactly. But the reason why Cost Freeze Malice is so good is because if you use a six link setup like I do, you can cast the Cost Freeze setup side by side while you're casting your original setup. So that would be the single target, right? You can see that his health was going down on intervals. That's pretty much the cap. That's how fast I can make it trigger. Now, the one plus side to doing this again, like I said, is you don't need to look for accuracy anywhere and if you're just trying to clear like low tier maps and stuff, you don't really need that much damage. Uh, but I think that this is more expensive almost to do because a Vagan Crafted Dagger is like a minimum of two exalts to get. Because just multi-modding a Vagan Dagger costs two exalts. Whereas a Cost Breeze is one exalt. So I don't know, you really have to kind of make up your... To figure out what you want to do there, really. Anyway, I hope this video helps you guys out a little bit. I hope if you're noob like me and don't really know what the fuck to do with cast on crit, um, then hopefully this will help you out. If you guys are curious, just to show you the statistics at the end, uh, my freeze pulse has a 46% spell crit chance. That is before power charges and diamond flask, obviously. And my shield charge has a 50% crit with my dagger on, but I typically map with a cost freeze. So it is actually 34.65% before charges. Uh, with charges, I think it's like, what? Let's see. 50? Yeah, it's 50% with charges. So that's what it looks like. So with a diamond flask plus assassin's mark, that's pretty much like all basically 100%. Uh, what you're rolling at essentially here now is accuracy, so it's important to get accuracy wherever you can. But anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see if I can get you guys some more updates, um, I guess, with this character as we continue to progress. But anyway, if you guys liked the video, remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv box, 
But I'm pretty much out for now. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And hope you guys stay cool, Kappa.